All right, yeah, game is starting. And somebody just exploded. Lovely. Here they come. Who are they going to send out? All right, on uh, the Merc Squad of Death, Xyphos. I don't, I'm not sure who you replaced from last game, but he's in now. Tempest, they got their uh, classic setup. Anstey is doing some Vanguard. He's been uh, running a lot of spear and stuff lately, so I'd like to see how that uh, works out. Okay, it looks like they're beginning to the got Man-at-Arms on Man-at-Arms action. Ooh, the, it's intense right here. Team Skills is really going for that region. He applies the pressure to his teammate and... Okay. Shiv's gonna go down. It's Gauntlet. He did get it, yeah. He yeah. Did. It seems that Skills is using the region as a kind of... to what in a way to draw in his opponent. He, he was low on stam there. But he does go down. How do you say that name? Is that Quasi? Yeah, it's Quasi. That was Quasi. Honk. He is using the method that is going to cause a severe amount of damage to anyone. Ooh, he read, he read the two feints, but not the third. Carboy's low on stamina. Yep. He gets the free hit. Alive. Oh, he. Then misses. Oh, nice I'm going to punish. Quasi. But well, never mind. He still gets the kill. He's going to be low. Comes out with the big LMB gamble and gets punished for it. Omega's gonna be next. He's doing good damage. Oh, but Gamble's gonna give him a lot of damage. Ooh. This is a good duel right here. They are both They're punishing each other's faints. Well, yeah. Ooh. I had a random freeze there. Don't know what happened there. Everything's working. Oh, but the lack of stamina is going to be the thing to bring Omega down. Steez definitely did a... Oh, yeah, that was okay. a tough one. Nancy does hit him with the reverse LMB. The pole hammer is popular this tournament. Just one left for the mercs. And the entity clears yep. the last three out. He did it well. Alright, and Tempest picked a uh, side first, so um, Merc Squad does get first banned. Alright, Merc Squad bans Dark Force. Ooh. Alright, and Tempest bans Cove. I like Cove personally, okay, but I'll, they do I'll, ban I'll... Cove. Are they still discussing? Alright, and Shiv picks Battlegrounds. I mean, not Shiv. Uh, Merc Squad picks Battlegrounds that they do want to play. And Tempest picked Outpost. Merc Squad banned Hillside. Uh, interesting map choices mm -hmm. for the Merc Squad. Interesting map choices. And uh, Tempest bans Hideout, which... Leaves Stones Hill. That, that is pretty much the common three there. So Stones Hill... So what number are you going to have them? Other two maps? All right, I'm rolling it. All right, we got a two, another two. Oh my god, that'd be Stones Hill. So it's Battlegrounds. Oh, it's, no, battlegrounds. it's Battlegrounds. You named yeah, it. Okay. Battlegrounds. Oh yeah, no, but height. Uh, he, he slapped it out there. Stones Hill, Battlegrounds, and Outpost. It's gonna be interesting to see if they go Mill or uh, the Barn first, or I'm not sure uh, what the house is called. Uh, the Granary. The Granary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've Alright, we're on so many times it just eventually digs in. <laughs> and they're off! Alright, so we have Merc Squad pushing up through the wheat field. It's definitely going to be see what they're going to do first, because obviously not seeing this much in competitive play, you only can do guesswork at that point. Tempest is pushing the, uh, four pushing left granary, and the other two are going to the mill. And there is an engagement in the force. The worst place to cast, because one, you hit a tree and your camera just jumps away. Ooh, Steez, he's going to do a two kill, one stab thingamajig there. That's going to... There is a 2v2 at the barn, or granary. <laughs> it's a 2v2. 
It's okay. It, it does look like a barn. All right. Well, they they did get a lot of a lot of torches and, off. They're still torches. Yeah, and instead of throwing that torch in his hand he, at the granary, he threw it at the wheat field. He missed it though on this. Yeah, and they're both going for this one play. Maybe they feel that it's going to take both of them to bring him down. Tempest is doing the, the textbook to um, fight the one trickling up and one guy on the torch. Or taking their turns. You never want to have two guys with the torch in their hand. Yeah, because it, it takes one hit and that is it. You are... You are... <laughs> you're defenseless. And, and Tempest is... Uh, Capitalizing on the trickle. But the Most granary is down. Trouble, yeah. And the wheat fields are burning. There's just the, a few the stores mill is left down, to burn. Just, yeah, just the stores, like you said. Skills oh, missing skills. an opportunity there. Yeah. He is running man at arms, so they are running two man at arms, which is good for battlegrounds in the beginning because there's so much space. Oh, we have a team kill there. Ouch. Xyphos is team gonna team kill Tarvoy. Omega having a lot of trouble fighting Steez here. He's a support of his teammate. They are protecting that torch with their life. Oh, one guy got one. And he lands it. That's a that's quite a hard throw to make. Shiv is uh he valiantly made a stand. But they will get this last torch. No, they're just waiting for it to burn up, and there it is. All Seventeen right, minutes it, to work with. Yeah. That's pretty good time. Pretty pretty damn good time. You get 10 minutes for that objective, but pushing this cart all the way to the door takes a while. You're going to spend at least 60% of that gain it there without the fighting. Mm hmm. And skills does go back Archer, and, and, and I'm sure he would because he wants to get the shot off. Tempest is well, going to push up very aggressive that. as well. Yeah, it's far. It's far, far up there. So that was, that's the good choice to make, because so they don't really want to get the bomb cart stuck too early. It is a three on three out here. Ouch. So you see a lot of time switching, but most of it is missing, which is using a lot of stamina. Skills is still on the bomb wagon, finally able to take some shots. He's a lot closer now. Yeah, he doesn't seem like a crossbow player, he likes that bow. Oh yeah. And plus with, with crossbow, the crossbow you are use, but... you are very well, you're very much a stuck target while reloading. I'm guessing he likes the freedom of the movement. It does look like both archers are running war bow because it is uh a big map. And Tempest does continue to push up. They have five guys past the uh and the barricade every single wall. one of them stays alive. Tempest yep. is very strong right now. So And they can afford to just stay there and regen. And um you know, you, they capitalize on the one side because Xyphos had the spawn on the right and all the rest spawned it on, on the left. So they will take him out pretty quick. And they move back to the middle. We have a lot of feints by Omega, but they do pay off and he brings down Tarvoy. And once again, oh, yeah. they are staying very strong. Skills is going to get a kill on Shiv. Yeah, Skills has been taking out uh, Shiv pretty much every time he hopped out there. He goes to get ammo again. Yeah. 
the spawn times on this map is a little um, different. It's not exactly 10 seconds. I hope the team damage is not on. In every engagement, Tempest is just absolutely dominating. And I don't think they've, they've, have they lost anyone yet. So one um, interesting thing is, uh, for some odd reason, the spawn times on defense are 17 seconds. Ouch. Yeah, and, and that's hurting. That's hurting them a lot. Yeah, you, you can definitely see it showing. And they they will trickle Merc Squad here. I mean, it's a good sign once you get the bomb cart past the wooden wall. You know, past their point that they can exit their spawn. I just have to hold it. Just stays and stays is gonna go down. One thing I'm not sure if is oh, actually Shiv is not Archer anymore. He's a man at arms, but uh, you can look through the fence. It's just like the fence on Dark Forest. There's a lot of gaps, and, and uh, if you get on some of the uh, elevated parts, you can jump and probably take out the Archer if you were Archer. But I mean, if you look at the time map, the uh, Tempest has managed to push this cart without losing, well, without making it stop, and they lost about five minutes. Yeah, yeah, five minutes to push a uh, cart without and it's there. Uh, stopping. I, I, they can't stop it. This has been an absolute monstrously devastation by Tempest. Oh, indeed it has. They have no cobwebs, they are coming out, shiny armor, ready to go. Time was... 12, 12 minutes and 13 seconds. So I'm gonna they burned the farm at 3.02 and the bomb cart was 12.13. So that'd be objective 2. 12.13. The beat. And the game is about to start. Alright, 6 seconds and run away. Swords are sharpened, shields are shiny. Let's get into it. Alright, let's see. Uh... The attacking team is going all right, and they're all going together. What I'm guessing is going on in their minds is that they saw what Tempest did, and they don't want to replicate it because that's what they're expecting Tempest to expect from them. But Tempest is coming back. Shiv did get two fire pots off of an ammo box. He's going to get team killed, though. Ouch. Gauntlet is doing a lot of backpedaling. He knows he's going to get ganked. He just take one down before falling to a throwing knife. They do get three or four stalls. They do get three or four stalls. So that attack was... You know, it, it, they got somewhere with it. It wasn't for nothing. Both teams not running Archer right now. With the two man at arms, you might want to spread another one out. Yeah, they are quite soft, so you need to keep them away from each other. It is possible for them to get one hit, both of them. And you, you don't want to lose two players in one swing. That is not good for your momentum and not good for your morale. Tarve and Steez do win that 2v3, and they... Uh... They do have four up at the mill. That that was a beautiful 2v3 by T uh, Tarvane Steve. The windmill is burning. And... <laughs> oh, he goes yeah, Steve, that, that gets he a dies, lot yeah, of people. Dies. It'll catch you. Steve does die by the fire from the mill. Um, the mill, when it's falling, can get you burnt. Same as the... Uh, the wheat fields, as soon as they are inflamed. All right, we got both teams grouping up for uh, a push, and they will be running Riverside, carrying the torches with them because you can throw it from the river. They did get good progress on those with those torches. Yeah, so it, it's either that Tempest did really well in that first half 
or that it's just this map is heavily attack sided. And um, it's actually just pretty damn close to the uh, same time. So uh, Merc Squad. So it's, it's still all to play with. It's yeah, no, they should, as they, they all they gotta do is uh, not get stopped, but they they did pretty much match the time on the first objective. Is that Tempest managed to push that cart and yeah, you can see Tempest pushing very aggressive now, which was something that the Mercs probably should have done as well. You want you want to stop that thing as early as possible. There will be a, some Kata shots here, and I got, he got off. He just went, took one pot shot. The Tempest are fighting nowhere near the cart right now. They, they should they, probably push as close as possible. But they're absolutely going ham. Well, they were waiting for the uh, push up because they knew that attacking was going to push up. So you wipe them once there, and then uh, you know how, see how they're pushing up the second time because the respawns won't get there. That, that is a lot of projectiles. That archer oh, better watch out. And, and now they will be pushed up at the cart. They have lost a lot of players, though, half of their team. And we, we do have one person standing on the cart, that'll be Zyphos. And he goes down. Steve's, uh... He's uh, kicking off. He's got two kills already, but he will go down to Quasi. Ooh. Ooh, Quasi yelled out help, and he got the help. Team not going to let him go. They kept him alive. Yeah, Steez is being pretty damn impressive out there. The teams are fairly similar. Uh, it seems that... The Mercs have one extra vanguard where Tempest has the knight. Ooh, that, another TK. It's, the Merc squad has been riddled with TKs. And that's a clean wipe with Tempest right there. And they are gonna. Yeah. They're gonna give themselves more time right yeah. there. Oh, just like when, just when it looked like the Mercs had lost all their momentum, they're trying to gain it back. Another TK by Cerebral. And the brandy stock isn't normally the. TK weapon. I mean, it, it's easy when you stab accidentally through an opponent and his teammate, but yeah, because of most of the time you're going to be using lunges with it, you don't really see too many TKs with it. They do get the cart moving and they have the two uh, Steez and Xyphos pushing up. Let's see what the duo can do. It seems like they're going to form a line. Three Tempest guys coming from the left. Only seen one pole on this time. A lot of one v ones going on, but Tempest has taken. The card did get good progress. This <laughs> ammo box. That timer is dangerously close. I don't think they can do it. Oh yeah, it's Tempest didn't get stopped the whole time. Yeah, that that thing was almost there at this point. The, the thing about when the car gets here is you know how Tempest is not pushing up as much is there's an ammo box right there. Yeah, their archers can resupply really easily. The cart's and, not too and far the, away from And the fire, fire pots too. Yep. I mean, there is a, a small gap to cross that bridge, if you want to cut across the bridge, that is. 
Either way, if they go on the bridge or on the left side, they're going to get funneled. That's a really good spot to uh, have the cart stopped. It's a really good Goldilocks so zone. Just hold them down there. And there we go, we see another fire pot. We will catch the man at arms. And the timer has run out. But well, we're gonna see how they do. See if they can finish the map. They do keep it moving. They do keep it moving. And they keep a lot of their team alive. They do have an archer to deal with. Sitting on a bridge uh, above them. Skills didn't have much more of a choice. Other than dropping down, he ran out of ammo. He still did some damage, that's all he really needed to do. All right, and Tempest is grouping up before they push. It's a smart thing to do. They don't definitely don't want to trickle. We're definitely seeing a lot of ranged weapons. Like all, all except for the amount of arms and the archer for obvious reasons, but the archer does have the range as of uh, the bow. As All far right. as melee go, we do see a lot of ranged weapons. Somebody mounting the catapult, that's... You don't see that too often in competitive. <laughs> Especially on this map, because it's so open that your chance of hitting someone is fairly slim. And watch this guy just... He almost did, he almost uh, made me regret what I said. Steez is doing some carrying. He's the only one All in right. his team to get double digit kills. And a positive KD. I mean, Tarvai and Zyphos. Well, Zyphos has now got a kill, but Tarvai is 0 and 10. It is not a good game for him. Cerebral trying to take on a 2v1 right here. With the Brandy, it's totally possible, but he does get taken down. Yeah, you, know, you, you can. Uh... You can run away, turn around, you got the reach. And it is confirmed that on defense, on this objective, the respawn time is at least 15 seconds. Ouch. 15 to 17 seconds. And that might not seem Either much, way. but if you're used to 10 seconds, it, it feels like an eternity. Oh, yes, indeed. And they still uh, hoping to get a good lucky shot with the Kata. They they might just Tempest does have their head on the swivel though. If if the catapult had more velocity, I could see it being more viable. But because of how open it is and few people actually being able to get hit by it, that and they are attacking. Hit. Like on Stone Hill or something. Oh, they do have um, a ninja. Oh, they do have a ninja. Zypho snuck nice. all the way around. Didn't only got not very much progress though on that ninja. It does mess up the spawn time. Yeah, so I, I think the ninja was not worth the outcome. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, that was closer, <laughs> that catapult shot. I guess the meta for competitive for the catapult here would be force the enemy to attack in a group and then fire. Yeah. Yeah, um, I could see you get like a ninja kata, say if you're on defense and the cart just started off, you can get a kata shot. But they're not gonna, you know, see how far their spacing is. I mean, you could easily close those gaps on, on this big map. And Zypho says, trickled in again, going to get taken out right before the engagement. Seems the Gauntlet was trying to sneak around, but Skills did see him and brings him down.
No ninja yeah, this the, time. They're gonna need a group. The ninja. The trickles, like, you know, the Sifos died pretty early, and then Gauntlet got. Or is it Gauntlet? Yeah. No, uh, Shiv got taken out on the side, so they really let their uh, numbers down right there in the main engagement. Steez is dangerously close to going into a negative KD. He hasn't got a kill oh, since yeah. the last time we saw him. <laughs> yeah. Tempest is playing really hard. And that was some team damage with the catapult. That's gonna. Not gonna go well for his teammate that received the damage. Yep, I think that was Steez that took the damage. And we're about to find out if they're going to play it out because Tempest has won uh, a while ago. Yep. <laughs> it was quite a while ago, over six minutes. Like, yeah. Just under six minutes. Oh, but the cat, uh, like, say you're on Stone Sill and, you know, you can aim at the cart and, that, you know, and usually people are going to be gathered around it, so it'd be easier to get some cat kills on, on this map. So this map, too open, too few people. Ooh, Steez. Keeping that positive KD alive. He, he wants to be the guy that can say, you know what, we lost, but I went positive. <laughs> yeah. Nobody can say they wrecked him. Omega has absolutely been doing work though. 21 and 6 with 16 assists. They are going to play it out. Um, good sports, a uh, Merc Squad of Death. You know, a lot of teams would quit. It was, it was this, this exact map I saw a team just absolutely rage quit and it was horrible to see. So it, it's nice to see that the NA will just stand up and say, you know what, we lost but let's just, let's just have some fun. Let's regain some honor. And Shiv was just being tossed around there. He was trying to dodge it the way he went into someone else. Oh yeah, it was a nice game of hot potato and they all, <laughs> they all got a little stab on them, each one. Patting those uh, assist stats, which Tempest's assists are really, really high. Except for Bismarck's, but pretty much all the rest of them have, you know, had a say in every kill. They're doing damage, passing him on, and somebody else takes him down. Tempest regrouping before they push in again. And another clean wipe. Cerebral. Tempest is just so strong right now. A lot of, um, you'll see them, uh, pushed up and if uh, somebody's alone they'll all run back and regroup and then re-push which that little tactic right there can draw uh, one of the Agatha players out to get punished you know to try to get it and try to get a back shot or something I mean, skills, skills he's a man of times so he has very little armor and he is still pulling his own weight oh yes he is he just did a lot of work in that engagement a lot of work. And he's still staying forward as if to say, come at me. And he's pushing up to their spawn. What are his skills doing? He's hiding in a bush. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's hiding in a... Yeah, if he's going to get a good old bush flank. Uh, I don't think they have noticed him. And he's coming. That and is sneaky coming. as hell. And he gets a stab off and a kill. Yep. <laughs> he hides in a bush, comes around, takes one stab, gets a kill, then another. Cerebral did leave Tarve hanging for the cart. Which on this map, the cart moves so slow, or ninjas aren't the best. Because even if you get the ninja, you see how slow that yeah, cart yeah, moves? That, that, I mean, he was on it for a good three or four seconds, and it, it barely moved. Any other map with the cart would, you know, have done at least... A lot more than that, you know. <laughs> I say it's the fact that it's slower, and because it's slower, you're not really getting away from the people charging yeah. you. 
you'll want to stay with your teammate and try to help him wipe wipe the you know, defense instead of trying to ninja it, especially on battlegrounds. But this is the debut of this map, so. Yeah, I think they're probably winging it as they go. Indeed, yeah. I don't think you could actually probably make a meta for this uh, for this map. <laughs> a meta. A meta. I, honestly, I don't see one. I can't. I can't see it. I'm trying. I'm try. All right, you do get a fist in there. Good old fist kill. Just uh, once again, not something in, you see in competitive. Shiv is going to end up with a trade, that's going to cost him a lot of his health, and Omega's going to pick him off, take the kill. Alright, they do have, you know, one last uh, stand right here, they're all grouped up. Can Omega hit the 30 bomb? Skills does get Steez off the engagement, which is going to be a huge thing for uh, Merc Squad. But Steez wins, and he's coming back. Or doesn't does not get there in time. He is going for the ninja. Now he does have and, uh, he does have someone to deal with, I believe. Yep. Yeah. It's quasi, quasi stayed back, and for good reason. Let's we'll see if he can be the hero. He does get a good hit off, and ooh, oh nice. my good god, that was disgusting. A, a good five faints. He even fainted him while he was defenseless from kicking. Now that's that's determination. That is determination. And he gets it right there, he just gotta love the Sword of War. And Steez taking out two people gives his team time enough to have three on there. And now... Uh, although how slow the cart goes, even if they pushed it all the way, I don't think they could make it. But uh, It is picking up speed. Yeah, the more people on it, I guess it's faster. It's weird that it goes faster uphill. That's it. Five, well, four. Yep. I suppose uh, since they were doing the ninjas, the ninjas weren't winning the 1v1, so... I guess if they would have ninja steez a little bit earlier, they they probably could have got what they hey, did right there. Hey, got, got a kill. Oh, nice. Well, steez on top for Merc Squad and Omega on top for Tempest.